Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. YouTube, Longboys Post 1975, and welcome to another Fat Friday video, a series of videos where I take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. I do apologise that there was no Fat Friday video last week. Uh, there was supposed to be one. I actually went downtown. I went to Ali Bawa's, which is that curry house I got that Vindaloo from, which was awesome, um, which makes this even more annoying and disappointing. And I went there to order a fowl. Uh, you would know that because I put a picture of it on Facebook in the morning showing what it actually said on their menu, which is a hot and spicy curry for people with a cast iron stomach. Challenge accepted, or so I thought. So, my mouth's watering already, and I haven't even shown you what I'm going to cook today. Um, I, uh, I went there. I was the only person in there. I walked in. The guy was on the phone. Fair enough. Taking an order. Put the phone down. Still there. Standing at the counter. Um, he then answers the phone again. I'm like, fair enough. You can have that one. He does that another three times, to which point I say, are you actually going to serve me? You know, the bloke who's standing in your restaurant. To which he said, sorry, phone's more important. To which I said, your customer service is shite, and I walked out. Uh, I do cut my nose up despite my face frequently, and I'm sorry I don't give a shit how good your curry is. Uh, every single person gets one chance when it comes to customer service. Call me a dickhead, and I'll never eat there again. But unfortunately, uh, I then went to another three curry houses, and none of them sold fowls. So I was thinking, shies and balls, I really have cut my nose up despite my face. However... However, I since found on my travels uh, yesterday a curry house. It's still kind of local. It's not as local as I would like. The food will still be, you know, hot-ish, no pun intended, uh, when I get home. That sells a fowl. And they actually do a chicken and or a lamb. So everything worked out all right in the end. So that's on the, uh, the menu, pun intended, uh, at some point in the foreseeable future and the name of the restaurant is really really amazing and original and they thought about it greatly it's called spice indian takeaway <laughs> anyway i digress what have i got today you've seen the thumbnail and you've read the picture and i'm back on the iceland bandwagon which um well i'm kind of cool with that as you know i think iceland is the greatest supermarket in the world ever and should there ever be a zombie apocalypse assuming that they do have generators that will be the supermarket i head for assuming they actually have cookers and uh microwaves as well anyway what have i got to try today i have the iceland scary spicy six carolina reaper beef kebabs yes they broke out something new in the scarily spicy Carolina Reaper range. I'm assuming, as I've said many times before, this range must make them a lot of money. So, it's got your standard caution hot ticker tape, like, you know, a police crime scene. I'm looking at the back of this, may have bit me in the ass, but fuck it. Uh, two tiers, in fact. Yeah, you got your crime scene and you've got your uh, warning. Very hot. You know, it's just marketing, isn't it? Because some of these products are very hot. The, uh, the original curry that sadly is discontinued to this day is still the hottest thing they've ever made and the to this day hottest curry I've ever had. Uh, yeah, and yeah, so it says five chili rating. I've had beef kebabs like this before, supermarket ones from Frozen, which will be um, paramount in a moment. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're very nice. And they were, you know, I've had so-called spicy ones from supermarkets before and they were very nice. Had a little bit of spice, um, you know, nowhere near as hot as they all suggest. But let's be honest, Carolina Reaper, Iceland's range has form. And yeah, perfect for the barbecue. So I looked on the back and the first thing I thought was, fuck, have I got to cook this for 24 hours? And then I realised on ways to cook, apparently you have to, well, it says for best results, defrost in a fridge for 24 hours and then use within 24 hours. Balls, never read that. Uh, and then it says grill. Also a problem. Um, I'm going to cook them from frozen. Bollocks to it. I'm going to do them um, uh, 200 degrees at 
I don't know, 12 minutes a side. So 12 and a half minutes a side, so 25 minutes. That's what I normally cook these things for. But I'm gonna have to do them in my oven because I just checked my grill and I turned it on. I haven't used my grill for ages and it smelled rather plasticky and um, smoked. And smoking is bad for your health kids, remember that. So I don't know what was in there prior, bollocks to it, I'm up, ba -ba -ba. bollocks to it, I'm going to do it in the uh, oven. So yeah, let's have a look at what they look like. They do actually look pretty, pretty banging and you get six of them, look at that. I mean, you know what, sorry about the glare, sorry about the glare. Uh, you get six of them. Now, here's the thing. Why did you put them in a foil tray? That to me suggests that you just whip off the cellophane, whip it off, um, and cook them straight in the oven. Anyway, oven it is, no grill. Can't smell absolutely anything, which is, well, good, because then you know that it's properly sealed. So, anyway, I preheated the oven. I'm going to bang them in, as I said, for 12 and a half minutes or so. I'm going to check one, because it says on the back, make sure none of it's pink um, before you eat them. None of it is pink. <laughs> uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back up, because as I always say, I do these things in real time, and see if they are actually hot. Please be hot. Please be hot. You're Carolina Reapers. You have form. I believe in you. So I've whipped up the cellophane and the first thing I can confirm is the smell is phenomenal. It hits you properly in the face. They smell, well they smell beefy as you would expect. My mouth's gone even though they're frozen solid. I can properly smell Carolina Reaper in that. I can properly smell Carolina Reaper in that. I don't know if you can kind of see it in there but yeah they smell absolutely fantastic what i mean oh hello it's a popsicle it's a meatsicle um what i'm probably going to do actually is uh see that suggests that iceland is a store that lets their stuff thaw out somewhat and then refreeze otherwise known as what every fucking supermarket does but yeah, what I'm probably going to do is actually do them 15 minutes aside just to make sure I don't get food poisoning. But I'm pretty sure Carolina Reaper chili kills fucking everything anyway. So, um, yeah, let's bang this in the oven. Again, it's supposed to be in a grill, but bollocks, my grill's fucked. And also, why'd you put it in a foil tray? Right, so, what time is it? It's 22.03. Right, so, I'm going to... Flip these bad boys in, what, five, two? Right, that's 15 minutes or thereabouts. Uh, the bottomless gut bucket that is Buble has come to check on the progress. Sorry, Buble. Um, even when they're done, you can't have any because you'll take off like a Saturn V. Right, hopefully this isn't going to ruin them. And because it said for best results, that doesn't mean you have to grill them. Um, oh, there's still some cellophane on there. Look, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're completely, well, they're not completely done, obviously, but I was worried that they might, you know, well, give me food poisoning, but it looks like they'd be all right. What do they smell like? Yep, they smell spicy. Oh, you, you breathe them in and they hit the back of your throat. Right, uh, 15 more minutes. Again, for best results, we'll keep that in mind, oven, keep that in mind. Right, quarter past, I guess I'll go and watch Rick Stein. Right, that's near enough. I can't wait anymore, I'm friggin' starving. It smells absolutely phenomenal. Apparently I'm a weakling and can't open the oven door. I'm assuming, oh look at that chili juice. Look at that chili juice. That's probably um, just a side effect of them basically defrosting and cooking. Right. I've actually, it's actually burning the back of my throat now. Sorry, Bublé, as I said, none for you. Right, I'm going to plate these up, maybe towel them down, towel them down, you know what I mean. Towel them down a bit, and uh, let's see what these bad boys taste like. Please be hot, please be hot. Right, my fire extinguisher of choice, as always, is totally the wrong thing to do for these things, but it's Diet Sweps, because I've decided to break out the A-list. Diet Lemonade, ooh, ooh, that's not good, come on. Open. Good enough. Well, let's just hope it's not fucking hot then, eh? Because uh, apparently, <laughs> that's the drink hole I've got to work with. Right. <clears throat> I have to say, to be fair, whether, you know, for best effect, 
defrost and then grill. They came out pretty well, pretty well indeed. Um, I'll tell you what, Iceland, if you have form with these, because you do have form with your Carolina Reaper stuff, my mouth's gone, I'll buy them again and I'll bang them on the barbie. Uh, which, in hindsight, if I actually read the instructions on the back, I probably would have done in the first place. They smell hot. They smell really, really hot. And they smell quite beefy, which I would bloody hope so. Right, um, as always, two tears in a bucket. You know the rest. Come on, be hot, be hot, be hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, they are hot. They are hot. They are <clears throat> actually quite bloody hot. Um, they're really, really nice. Oh, it's a builder. It's a builder. I wouldn't say it's curry hot. It's probably on par with the pigs in blankets. It's very nice. My back of my throat is on absolute fire. It's not unbearable, but it's on fire. Um, they're very nice. They're very, very, very nice. Yeah, <clears throat> it's just getting hotter and hotter. I'm actually very surprised with these. Pleasantly surprised, I should say, is the phrase I'm looking for. <laughs> I was about to say, I think they've hit the plateau, but... Yeah, okay, these are officially hot. They're not curry hot. Um, I wouldn't say they're unbearable hot. Your mileage may vary because clearly I've burnt my taste buds out doing this series of videos. But these are nice. These are really nice. And they are pleasantly, like, you know, have a pleasant heat kick in them, I should say. This is why, what's the etiquette for eating these things when you're halfway down the stick? Have a look at that bad boy. You can actually see the chunks. Sorry, where my manners? Ooh. You can see the chunks of chilli in it. Do you know what? <clears throat> these are very nice. I would definitely, definitely, definitely have these again. I am definitely going to uh, barbecue them. Palette cleanse. Well, that was absolutely pointless, wasn't it? My throat's, yeah. My, my throat's, my throat's, uh, it's a where it's eating them. I got a little bit of a sniffle, nothing unbearable, I'm not sweating, it's not curry hot, but it's definitely the hottest um, kebab I've ever had. Such attractive noises, I know. Back of my tongue's gone, back of my lips are gone. Yeah, you know what? They don't pose any real problem. Chest is gone, but um, they're very nice. They definitely have a kick. That was just one. I'm guessing if you work your way through the plate, you will be aware of them. See, recently in this series of videos, I've suffered nothing but disappointment. I'm looking at you, Asda, with your Carolina Reaper dog poo curled sausage thing. These, yeah, these, these are, these are why I do this series of videos. These are why I do this series of videos. Also, so you know what to buy from Iceland. Buy these. Scary Spicy Carolina Reaper Beef Kebabs. Possibly follow the instructions, right? <clears throat> and defrost them. But if you want to do them from frozen in an oven, then 200 degrees, 15 minutes aside, and they come out absolutely banging, to be perfectly honest. I am, my mouth just turned into a tap. I am quite looking forward to, though, just seeing how they actually come out if you grill them over, you know, naked flame. Ha, naked. Mmm. Excuse me, I was just about to say, as supermarket cheap beef goes, they're actually all right, until I bit into a piece of gristle, gristle, I should say, as hard as Satan's balls. Um, yeah, do you know what? <clears throat> oh, my throat. <sniffs> Sniffle, throat mainly, back of lips, back of tongue. These are absolutely, definitely recommended. Anyway, as always, I'm having them now, I'm having them all. I'm not sharing any one of them. Um, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you've tried these and you've had anything else you recommend that I should try in this series of videos. Preferably hot, but not necessarily such. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.